I was really excited for my Planners and Limits Peacock Ballet kit to arrive because I had a very special project in mind and I'm really pleased with how it has turned out. It's a junk journal made from the Planners Anonymous kit. So I've used the peacock as the outside and then inside here, you can see I've left that there, doesn't that look so pretty? There. Okay, then I've added some other pages, not just the planners and anonymous papers, but I've used a lot of the embellishments and stickers throughout. So we'll have a little look. So front page and inside front cover there. And then we've got some music notes here. On the back of that, I've just made a little tuck spot in here with some of the stickers. I've got um, the washi across here and then a double tuck spot in here. And this pretty little one in here. And this is actually from um, a fitting kit for ballet shoes. So that I think ties in very well with our theme. So I really like that painting. That looks really pretty. I've got a bit of ink here on my fingertips from my stamping. Um, just got a blank page here for some journaling. And then here we have again a double tuck. I've got a little tuck spot in there. Let's just say we wanted to tuck. Let's just say this. So that could tuck in there, something in there, or in here. We've got room in there to tuck things. Now, um, here, what I've used is a ticket to a ballet performance by the Australian Ballet School. So that fits in with our theme. Then on this page, um, we've got the pocket, obviously, which is perfect. We've got a little tuck in here for some music notes, um, which can be used for some journaling. We can use one of the quote cards, a little tuck spot in there. And then I've made another little pocket in here. So I like to have lots and lots of places to tuck lots of little things as well as journaling room um, on here once again I've made a spot here to tuck things and then a little mini one at the back here's a little place to tuck this is a page this is obviously the planners anonymous bobby pin just stick that washi back down there paper um this here is a page from a very old ballet book that i have and you'll see on the back some little illustrations which are very cute which I've just embellished a little bit. This is a long envelope that goes right through the book which I've just decorated with some stamps and some stickers and so you can fit a lot of things in there that's a great one. Here's the studio paper and on the back I've used whoops, there's my stamp. I've used a stamp and also I've used the ballet shoe so we can use that to tuck something in there. And then I've got the dashboard here. This is quite an ornate page. If we open up the dashboard there, we've got a ballet ticket, which is just there for decoration. I didn't stick it down because it's very old and has sentimental value. So I've just um, used a little paper clip until I decide that I'm ready to stick it down. Tuck in there. Tuck in there. So again, my favourite thing, the double tuck. Then a bit of journaling space here, little envelope there. I think that looks really pretty there with the, the washi and the stamp. Just a little beware of closing your book too soon, but I think it fits in with the aesthetic of the junk journal, so I'm not worried about that. So that's like a sort of a triple page there, lots of space in there. This is a very sentimental ticket that I've stuck here and I've left it open here so that we could easily tuck something behind it. I'm pleased to have got this in here because it's something that I want to remember forever. Um, here's just my, I just left my strings from my binding there, uh, envelope there. Once again, just used a piece of paper from one of the Kmart uh, kits. So lots of room to tuck in there and another little double tuck there. 
is the stamp and the peacock here. I love this ticket and I've left that open too. So if you wanted to use that for a little tuck, you're good. Uh, then over the page, you've used this die and I've put a little uh, ticket in there just as decoration. Then the purple here, we've used a bit of the bobby pin to create a tuck strip and we've got a little tuck down the bottom. The pocket. Then over the page, we've got the studio and then we've got the other side. I haven't decorated this one yet, but I... Sure, I can think of something, but I might, I've left that blank because I might like to often write on that bit. And that's good. There's the back of that page that I photocopied on my printer. I think that looks really pretty. And this is all about stage makeup. Got the ballerina here, little tiny one here, room for journaling. Then I made a little tag, which you can write on the back of here with some music notes, the on point stamp. I really like that. I think that looks really pretty. Just out of, again, some of the blue, um, just this paper came in the little Kmart kit. This is the back of uh, one of the music notes and I've used our girl here as a tuck the pocket there and just left that black blank in case we want to do some little journaling there and then this is the other half of that envelope that we used at the front here with that very lovely tie so this is the bottom half of it and I've got here like a little triple whammy so we can have a pocket there we've got a pocket there and then we've also got Alice in Wonderland ticket and I've just stuck the back down and left it as a trifold there and that will be a very good size if I want to stick some sprocket photos on the back there so I quite like this page it's got a lot of um, a lot of different places that you can put things very good then here's just a tea dyed, tea stained paper with a nice little pocket just made there with some of the washi. And I like the way it just reveals a little bit of the music notes and a little bit of the back cover there. So over here we've got sort of a triple pocket opportunity there, there and there. So easily to just put a little bit of memorabilia in there and then the notes and then the stunning, stunning back page. So I'm just really, really happy with this. Um, I am a ballet teacher. So I spend a lot of time teaching ballet. I spend a lot of time watching ballet and I've made this journal to to use for my memorabilia. Obviously, I've, I've got lots and lots of tickets. I've got these, but I've got other ones which I can pop in the tuck spots and write about, uh, performances. I'm just really, really pleased. I've been really excited to get this kit and I had this project in mind. And I'm just super duper happy with how it's turned out. So there we go, my plan is Anonymous Junk Journal.